Hey, this is Joseph with the Flying Pigeon Bike Shop again, and I'm going to walk you through the store and show you what we've got in stock. Uh, this is just two days before Christmas Eve, so um, we've gotten a lot of phone calls. People want to know what we have in the store. So I'll start with this row of bikes here from the back, uh, moving from left to right. On the far left, you've got a Linus Classic uh, Roadster single speed with a bag attached to it. That bike's $500. Next to that is a Flying Pigeon that we have completely retrofitted in that sky blue with the Brooks B33. It's an internal three-speed and I believe we're asking 720 for that sweet, sweet machine. Next to that is a public D3 large um, and it's uh, 795 I believe. Next to that is a Valorbis Student Classic. We're asking I think like $995 for it. And then here on the end are four men's Pashley Roadsters. Uh, that's the Roadster Sovereign in extra large, large, and medium. And then over here on the end is the uh, Roadster 26 in small with a pair of Basil Kavan bags on the back of it. Um, all these bikes are $1,300. Um, the bags, I think, are like $200. I can't remember. Uh, over here, we've got some burnt helmets. Um, those are two men's helmets on the left. And then on the right-hand side, that sh glossy black one with a little brim. Those are $80. Um, I'm sorry, it's, uh, the ladies are from 60 to $80, these helmets are. And uh, we're getting a few more. I don't think we'll have them here before Christmas, but uh, we should have, but we didn't. So a little stack of clothing from Bicycle Fixation and um, uh, a local clothing manufacturer, Shifty, uh, made over in uh, Echo Park. Down below, our Yakai helmets are um, still here. We've got a couple of covers and helmets uh, still available. Sorry, I popped that. And uh, some... Down the bottom there, that little orange blip under the thing is a, a helmet lock. It's supposed to attach to the bottom of your saddle and allows you to put a cover over your helmet and lock it to your bike so you don't have, so you don't have to carry it around with you all the time. And while it's locked, it'll stay nice and dry inside of its little uh, protective bag. Um, up on the shelf, we've got a set of Cristobal & Company bags, some Brooks D-shaped bags. Those look really nice. Um, a Linus Market bag, I believe it's called, and um, some Public messenger bags. These are clip-on panniers. Those are some Dazur double panniers from Basel. Some t-shirts that we've had made for us. Uh, nutcase helmets. We've got a ton of these in a bunch of bright colors, solid colors, matte gray, matte black, crazy daredevil American flags, flowers, eight balls, watermelons, you name it. These are cool. We got these from the guys that do boxicles from Christiania. These are the Copenhagen parts handlebars. Perfect for making your fixed gear into something a little more practical. Um, this clamp will fit a ton of different sizes and there are shims to make it fit on 31.8 um, and other hand, 1 inch and 26.0 uh, handlebar clamp diameter. So, and those I believe are like 180, 200, I'm trying to off the top of my head here. Uh, basil baskets, we've got a walled woody basket and these are really cool. These bike buckets attached onto the rear rack of your bike, they're $15. They can hold a ton of weight, they're waterproof, inexpensive, very simply made and tough as nails. Um, we've got some more rear racks, some carry baskets down there. Our Yep Maxi, Yep Mini, Bow Bike Mini, and Bow Bike Junior Collection. Uh, well, those are still in stock. We've got a ton of them. Installs for free. Um, here are some baskets we dug out of inventory. These are, I believe, $20. And there's something really special. It just arrived today from the Pedersen Bike Factory. This thing is stunning. Oh my god, look at this bike. It's so beautiful. Um, this is a Dirdsley Pedersen replica. Uh, it's made in the Czech Republic. The frame is, at least. It's shipped here to uh, Dave, who is the uh, Pedersen guy for North America. And this is an extra large frame made for someone who's really tall. Uh, it's someone who's like 6'5", 6'6", above that. This bike is just ridiculously nice. It's got these beautiful inlaid wood fenders, a beautiful inlaid wood chain case, uh, another rear fender there. Check out the shellac, cork shellac to match the bronze paint and the wood inlay and look at those bars man I don't know how you, I want those on my bike uh, I don't know how Dave does all this stuff but he gets it done I have no idea what this bike is selling for he just dropped it off today when I wasn't in what a machine though um, I believe it's a nine speed external gear in the back single chain ring up front here's our for sale uh, aisle everything here is half off these helmets I think we're selling them for ten bucks um, all these baskets that were $30 are now $15. Bunch of stuff back there. Those are rear and front mounting quick release baskets. Some of them are bolt on. All these bags from Pocampo from last season are here. Got a little bit of basil stuff left. And these are really neat. If you have a pet pet you want to carry around, I think these things used to retail for $180. We're selling them for $90 bucks with the bonnet on top, the little cage, so your dog won't jump out. And they mount on a ton of different types of bikes. Over here in the front of the shop, we've got. Uh, Linus Roadster and Olive Roadster Sport 3-speed and Olive 
And this is something really cool. Finally put the finishing touches on it. Uh, next to that Roadster is a Flying Pigeon that has been retrofitted. It's got a better headset, better bottom bracket and cranks. Took a ton of work. We got the uh, rod brakes working as good as we've ever gotten them. And uh, this bike we're asking $400 for. I think it's quite a value for a bike of this finish and this caliber once we've uh, been through it the way we have. Next to that are our last three Amsterdam bikes. We're selling these for $420. And once these are gone at that price, they will be $700 from here on out. So this is your last chance really to get a legitimate bike from Holland made in Amsterdam um, with a two speeds and for $420, bucks, which is a steal. Uh, right here next to those Amsterdam bikes is the Montego, that thing with the shiny headlight. This is an all-aluminum frame, three-speed with a coaster brake. We're asking $749 for this uh, lovely bicycle, and that is a real Dutch Stadfiets. It's got all the features, lights, lock, chain case, uh, skirt guards, fenders, rear rack, everything. Next to that is the Miss Grace um, with a gigantic cargo rack, center kickstand, locking headset, dynamo headlamp, and a battery taillight. This is really an ideal shopping bike for any of you ladies out there or guys that like rocking a bike with flower prints on it. Next to that is a, this insane creation from Biomega. They uh, shipped this to us, and um, I don't know, it's a pretty cool little bike. We are asking $7.45 for that. Next to that is the Uber Mommy Daddy bike from uh, Gazelle, the Bloom, with the Yep Mini and Yep Maxi in the back to match the finish of the bike. And uh, the bike here is $1,200, and the baby seat's $150 for the Mini, $200, or sorry, $179 for that one in the back. Uh, because there's no extra mount added. This is uh, integrated into the rear rack on the Gazelle bikes is a uh, stays that will fit the Yep easy fit, so it saves you 30, 40 bucks there for the adapter. Over here by the door, we've got a couple of Linus Dutchies, Dutchies uh, Mixty 3-speed, and then this we just assembled today, which is a bright pink, just a beautiful glossy pink, uh, Pashley Poppy 3-speed. Several Britannias, 20-inch uh, and two 17-and-a-half-inch frames, a 22-and-a-half-inch, Pashley Princess Sovereign. All these Pashley bikes here are $1,300. The Poppy is $9.95. The Batavis Butterfly, um, we were selling this bike for $6.49. We're now asking $500 bucks for it, $500 even. Next to that is the um, this little girl's Gazelle, and I believe we're asking $4.50 for that bike. And then these are some great gifts. The little red bikes on the floor are $60. The little girl's bike in purple is $60, as is the little boy, boy's bike in blue. We've got a ton of different bells to select from. Crazy lights, more lights down there from Amsterdam. Locks, locks from Holland, locks from Germany, all kinds of different stuff. Our Brooks stuff is set to arrive this week. Hopefully it'll all get here. We've got a ton of B67, B67Ss, and I am awaiting word from the International Shipping Company when our Bromptons will arrive. We'll have three or four, hopefully by the week, by the time the week's over. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is a really long one, our pre-Christmas one, and uh, take care.